Hi, a um, bit of a different uh, video because what I was originally going to do was show off the, the Asus uh, Z590 um, motherboard but there's been a few changes since then. Uh, one when I actually got the motherboard in it looked nice and everything but it was just millimeters too big in places here and there and um, it was more so for the, the power cables that are up there um, it was too tight for the I.O. Um, just a slight change in the the board design and um, it just wasn't going to fit so I had to go back as for the, the problem that I had with uh, the motherboard the reason why I was doing these changes turns out it's not actually the motherboard it's the case it's the Corsair uh, 5000X um, new case and everything um, it, it, I, I've spent months trying to figure out why my games were running smooth as hell and then I was getting massive like one-off lag sp uh, frame time spikes here and there tried everything swapped some parts out did all the fixes everybody talked about nothing changed it and then randomly the other day I found somebody uh, who made a post who said to remove the USB uh, 3 cable uh, which goes from the case itself and then plugs in down around about here uh, I was like there's no way that's going to do anything surely not uh, took that cable out and all the, the frame time spikes have gone so for anybody who has um, a PC which is on the high end everything's working great um, but you get these random one-off frame time spikes here and there and you've done all the different things to try and problem solve try removing USB 3 cable um, I've got a funny feeling it's to do with a thing called grounding where there is a uh, some kind of charge building up or to do circuitry up here where the actual uh, front panel is and it's coming down and it's affecting the USB 3. Um, it wasn't the motherboard, as I say, because I do the one put in as well. And for the short time that I did manage to fit that one in, um, it was doing it with that one as well. Um, and there's other people, uh, the original person who put the post had a Fantex case and they had that issue. And it wasn't until they actually um, were able to change the cable over and the front panel, uh, they fixed it and then they changed the case completely. Um, but there's other people that have uh, clicked like and uh, commented on that person um, saying that that fixed their problem. Um, now for people who are getting continuous frame time spikes and stuff, that, that's usually a, a deeper thing to do with the card or other issues. But if you, you've got a machine that should have no issues at all, but you're just getting these, these random one-off, say like one every five, ten minutes, um, and you just can't get to the bottom of it, you want to try that out. Anyway, so... <laughs> this uh, for the moment um, is a bit of a problem because I now have to figure out if all the Corsair uh, 5000X's have this issue or if I was just unlucky because uh, I need, obviously need to get a replacement or find a, a workaround for it uh, I mean there's USBs on, on the back and stuff of the actual PC so it's not uh, the be all and end all um, but I'd rather have a case that was fully working um, but the problem is, is trying to find somebody with the same case, um, with the same problem. Because for anybody who's bought one of these cases and they've got the PC inside it, and they're having this problem, they, like me, will be going through every other kind of possible fix, um, trying to figure out what it is, and the last thing they're going to think of is that. So there could be literally hundreds of people with this kind of issue with this case, um, if it is a design fault rather than just a one-off. Um, but but um, um, it's going to be hard to find those people because uh, they're all going to be trying everything apart from looking at the case. Like I could say, I mean, if I hadn't found that person who made that post, I, I, I would have probably ended up changing the CPU and more things and stuff, trying to find out what it is. Um, last thing I would have thought of was the case. Um, as for what's changed inside the machine, um, I just recently changed from the Trident uh, Neo 3600 to the, the Ballistics um, RGB. Um, reason being, timings. Timings were far superior on this one. Um, it overclocks better, uh, so timings are better. Um, so it was a no-brainer, really. Um, next things that will change in the case. Uh, I, I don't know. Alder Lake, end of this year, it's possible. Um, I know you've got Zen 4. I'm not bothered about the Zen 3 refresh um, because, I mean, Alder Lake and Zen 4, they're both going to be needing um, board changes. They're going to need different uh, sockets. 
So it's either going to be all delay calls Zen 4, but I know everyone keeps going on about how many calls the Zen 4 is going to have, but multitasking does not bother me in the slightest. Uh, this is just for gaming. Um, so whichever one does the best on the gaming side, that's for me. And again, with doing it at 4K, there's, you don't get the uplift as you do, say, like 1080p or 1440p, um, where the actual restrictions come from the CPU and it's all kind of focused on the GPU. Um, and both of them are going to obviously PCI 4 as well, so uh, I don't know how much that will actually change games wise. Um, I mean, my loading times with the SSD, uh, sorry, the M.2 SSD that I've got, um, which is the Western Digital 850N, I think it is. Um, is is more than enough for me at the moment, and uh, it's a PCI four. So once I actually get a board that's PCI four, um, it'll work even faster. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Um, so yeah, if you do have them like like time spikes, give that a go with the USB three. Uh, it might actually do some uh, help for you. And one last thing as well, uh, I'm a big Cyberpunk fan. I know it's got its gripes and groans about it, um, but it's been pretty good to me. Um, but the one thing which had bugged me was when you play in the game and it, you go from 60 FPS to a sudden stop every time the game does an auto save. Uh, it's I think it's affected some people more than others, but it's annoying as hell because every time you pass uh, a mission that you haven't done, it'll do an auto save. Get given a mission, auto save. Finish a mission, auto save. And if you're driving through a city with a lot of things that you haven't seen just yet, every time you pass something, it'll do it. Um, and it's really annoying. Uh, and somebody's, uh, well, it's a while ago now, but I've only just really uh, done it, is uh, how to turn off auto save uh, in the PC uh, game settings where you have to write a little bit of uh, script change. Um, simple thing to do um, and what I'll probably do is I'll put it in the description on, on how to do that um, and it's night and day difference for myself um, when you're actually going around now it's 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 60 doesn't change locked um, no hitches or glitches anywhere now with this auto save which has uh, been a, a pain on my backside for that thing um, some people say that after a while the auto save kind of kicks back in uh, after you've played the game a few times um, so it might just be a case of redoing it um, but I, I would rather go through that process every time the game starts up than uh, having to deal with that it just, it just it's a lot better uh, experience for myself now with that anyway but like I said I'll put that in the, in the description for anyone who's uh, interested uh, or has a, an issue with auto saves uh, doing the heading as much as it was mine Right, uh, so I, I only just do these videos just because anything I find out that might be helpful to somebody else. Um, I, I don't have any kind of technical equipment or any kind of even time to sit down and do things um, the way other people do. This is purely just, I hit a problem, maybe I can mention something or I buy something and speak about whether I liked it or not. Um, and that's it. If it helps somebody, great. If not, yeah, it filled in a bit of time for myself. <laughs> Right. Cheers, guys. Bye.